Hi. I just want to illustrate what Pythagoras discovered concerning the relationship between music and numbers. And one of the things that he found out was that you can express certain important uh, intervals in music in terms of uh, actual fractions of a string. Let me clarify what I mean by that. Here is my bass guitar and the neck and the strings up to the bridge are 34 inches long. Okay, here's 34 inches. So, first thing, what happens if we take half of that, okay, the whole entire string makes the sound that it's tuned to, in this case, a G. Now, if we cut it in half, what do we get? Let's go uh, 34 divided by 2 is 17. So we have 17 that takes us to right here, this fret, and this is what we hear. It's the same note, isn't it? Just an octave higher. So you cut a string in half, or just stop it with your fret, and you get just an octave above what the original string was. Now let's verify that. Here we have again the same string, the same note, just an octave higher. Now if we cut that in half, we should get the same octave again. So let's go ahead and do that. This is 17 inches. And if we take half of that, that's eight and a half. And that takes us right to this fret. Sure enough, it's all the same note again, just an octave higher. Now let's try some other weird fractions. What if we don't cut it in half, but just take off a third? So we have two thirds of a string that we play. So we would have 11 inch, uh, 34 divided by three is 11. So we go right here and this is the sound we get. Okay, it's definitely a distinct note. That's the note D, and it is exactly five steps up from the key of, from the basic note of G. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Okay, that's the fifth. What are the notes in, or the chords, if you play in the key of G? Well, you have G, and you have D. Well, let's try one other note. Namely, if we go only three quarters, so we take about eight and a fraction off, which lands us on this fret, and we get, and that's four steps up. And that's a C. So those are the chords that would go with the key of G as well. The basic note, which is sometimes called the tonic, nothing to drink. And then the subdominant, which is the C, the fourth, and the dominant, which is the fifth. And so those are the three basic notes that go with the G. Okay, so half of a string gives us 
an entire octave. Two thirds gives us the fifth. And three quarters gives us the fourth. And those are the mathematical ratios that Pythagoras discovered. That the various levels of the notes can be classified in terms of uh, actual fractions with integers, whole numbers. See you again. Thanks for watching.